here's the thing. I've been in love with a lot of people. Have they loved me back? That's the real question. Hey y'all, it's Conan Gray, and I'm here with 17 for Read Receipts. I normally say red receipts. Red receipts. Red receipts? Read receipts? Yeah, red receipts. I have read them, yeah. This is basically phone truth or dare. I can choose to answer an embarrassing question or choose to reveal something from my phone. My social life is extremely boring, so honestly, I'm fine with showing stuff from my phone. I would say the main weird thing about me and being friends with me is at any given moment, I could write a song about you. And that's the price of being around me. Even looking at me just once, I could write a song about you. Who's gonna stop me? Not you. Hmm. Let me think, what was the last time I lied? I really enjoy lying. It is so fun. I'm currently on tour, and my favorite lie to tell on tour is, I was born here. No matter what city I'm in, whether I'm in Savannah, Georgia, or I am in London. I'm like, ah, oh, it's so nice to be back in my hometown. I missed it so much. And they're like, you were born here? I was like, yeah, I was born right down the street. And everyone's like, that's so cool. Because everyone believes you, no matter what you say. <laughs> Reply, I know the last time I cried. The last time I cried was a few days ago. I was playing a show and I was singing a song called The Story off of my album. And it's a song about my friends and like my childhood and stuff. So it's like, oh, I'm already emotional. It's like a lot going on. And I look over and there's this couple like sitting. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> And they were so happy and so in love and so just like cute. And I was just watching them and I was like, wow, I have never been in love. <laughs> and I started crying and like in the middle of the song, I'm literally crying right now. Just thinking about it. Get it together, Conan. How many people have I been in love with? I, here's the thing. I've been in love with a lot of people. Have they loved me back? That's the real question. And the answer is no. The thing about me is I am massively annoying and absolutely insane. So to fall in love with me is excruciatingly hard. <laughs> but if you've ever listened to any of my songs, you can tell that I've been in love with many people. A really interesting thing is, even though I've had like crushes on people and things like that, there's only like two or three people on earth that I write songs about. I really, tend to have my muses. God, I'm such an artist. It's interesting to see like who ends up being someone that I write songs about, even if it's not someone that like I really thought I was that in love with at the time or something like that. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's actually disgusting. My house is <laughs> filled with just half drink, drinkin', drinked, half drinkin' cups of coffee um, just all over my house, on my piano and on my bed and in every corner there is just one little cup of coffee that I maybe took a few sips of just growing a little environment of mold from months ago and I'm on tour right now so there's probably so many in there that are just creating new creatures as we exist my biggest fear is failure which is why I never do it I have succeeded in everything I've ever wanted to do and I'm perfect and I've never made a mistake ever I just wanna make people proud. I just wanna make people happy. I'm so afraid of like not doing a good job. I've always been such a people pleaser, which is why it's not gonna happen. I'm perfect. Hmm. My biggest insecurity. Give me a dare. Let's check. I have a group chat going on right now. I just got a text from my friend. She said, hi, do you have five minutes today to talk about Coachella? I said, yes. <laughs> I'm in interviews for the next couple hours, but free to plan after that. And then I said, yee. <laughs> I'm playing Coachella, so. Gotta plan. Gotta make plans with the friends. Um, my favorite song to write is definitely a song off of my new album. There were a bunch of songs that were absolutely miserable to write and I hated every second of it. And I was fighting for my life, fighting these lyrics like my demons. But there was one song that I wrote 
so fast and it was so fun. It's a song called Memories. It was the last song I wrote for the album and I sat at my piano and just started playing. I don't even play piano, so I was like, whoa! <laughs> I just started singing it and it was really, like it happened super fast. I wrote the whole song in like five minutes. It was super quick and super fun. But the other songs, miserable. The album was just very much kind of my reflecting on the past few years of my life. I think it's about growing up. I think it's about being heartbroken, but almost like breaking your own heart because you're a Dumbo. And I think it's also just about like the chaos of being young. Ignore. <laughs> Let's check. The title of my most recent note says, Target. I'm not lying, that's literally what it is. It's literally a note about my Target exclusive version, which is so cute, it's a super cute version. Something that I don't like about myself, I think I take myself super seriously sometimes. When I was 14, I was like a 65 year old man. The older I get, the more I'm just like, calm down. Everything's fine, like it's not that big of a deal. But if you listen to my album, it's quite obvious that I take everything very, just intensely and I just wish I could just like chill out. Just like take a nap every once in a while. But I can't, my brain is just so loud and obnoxious. And I'm just like, oh, shut up. My first celebrity crush, I remember this so, so vividly, is Anna Sophia Robb when she was in because of Winn-Dixie. I don't know why, I was just like, this is it. Um, I also just read that book like 10 million times and uh, watched that movie 10 million times. Everyone has a comfort movie, and mine is because of Winn-Dixie. Ignore. Let's see, most recent selfie. I don't really take selfies because I hate perceiving myself. This is my most recent selfie. It's a mirror selfie, but I found this mirror while I was walking about, and I think I look really good in this photo. <laughs> my security guard's just in the back. He's teeny tiny in it. Googled? Oh, okay. Hey, that's not bad. I was just searching the, the venue of a, a, of a place that I'm playing, Orpheum Theater, and I was just searching capacity. Definitely just one of my friends, so I don't think they would care. <laughs> it's my best friend. What is it, three blowing kiss emojis? Yeah. She's just gonna send them back. Everything, God, I'm beautiful. <laughs> my favorite thing about my looks is my sense of style. All I want to do is make sure people know that I'm wearing the clothes of an old man. And I feel like fashion is really fun. I like to dress up as little characters, new characters every day. In my own little movie, I live in constant delusion. It's wonderful. This was enlightening. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me exist in perfection. That's it. Bye.